The Bank of Japan is not planning to raise rates anytime soon. The Bank of Japan recently made a big decision. They decided not to raise interest rates. This decision was announced by the head of the Bank of Japan, Governor Kazuo Ueda. He said the bank is not planning to raise rates anytime soon. This decision is important for the Japanese economy. Interest rates affect how much it costs to borrow money. When rates are low, it is cheaper to borrow. This can help businesses grow and people spend more money. The Bank of Japan's decision suggests they are trying to support the Japanese economy. They believe keeping rates low is the best way to do this right now. However, this decision has sparked debate and analysis about its implications. There are several reasons why the Bank of Japan decided against a rate hike. One major reason is inflation. Inflation is when prices for goods and services go up. Many countries are experiencing high inflation right now. However, inflation in Japan is not as high as in other places. It is still a concern, but not a crisis. The Bank of Japan believes that raising rates too soon could hurt the economy. Another reason is the value of the Japanese yen. The yen has become weaker compared to other currencies. This makes it more expensive for Japanese businesses to buy things from other countries. The Bank of Japan may be hesitant to raise rates because it could make the yen even weaker. They are closely watching how the yen performs in the global market. The Bank of Japan has time to make a decision about interest rates. We do not feel pressured to act immediately. Governor Ueda believes that the Bank of Japan has time to make a decision about interest rates. He does not feel pressured to act immediately. This is because he believes the current economic situation is not dire. Ueda is confident in the Bank of Japan's current approach. He thinks they can wait and see how the economy develops before making any big changes. This patient approach is a hallmark of Ueda's leadership. This does not mean the Bank of Japan is ignoring potential risks. They are closely monitoring the situation and are ready to act if necessary. However, for now, they believe a cautious approach is best. When the yen is weak, it can actually be good for some parts of the economy. For example, a weak yen can help Japanese companies that export goods. The value of the Japanese yen is a major factor influencing the Bank of Japan's decision. When the yen is weak, it can actually be good for some parts of the economy. For example, a weak yen can help Japanese companies that export goods. Their products become cheaper for people in other countries to buy. This can boost sales and profits for these companies. However, a weak yen also has downsides. It makes it more expensive to import goods from other countries. This can lead to higher prices for consumers in Japan. The Bank of Japan has to weigh these factors carefully. They need to find a balance that supports the overall economy, even if it means making some tough choices. Section 5. The U.S. Economy's Impact The U.S. economy is the largest in the world. What happens in the U.S. affects economies around the globe, including Japan's. The Bank of Japan is paying close attention to the U.S. economy. Right now, there's some uncertainty about the future of the U.S. economy. Some experts believe it may slow down in the coming months. This could have a ripple effect on Japan. If the U.S. economy weakens, it could reduce demand for Japanese goods and services. This could hurt Japanese businesses and slow down economic growth. The BOJ is aware of this risk. The upcoming U.S. presidential election is also a source of uncertainty. The outcome of the election could have a significant impact on U.S. economic policy. This, in turn, could create ripple effects that reach Japan. Section 6 Watching the Global Economy The BOJ's decision is not just about Japan. They are also watching the global economy very closely. 
The world is interconnected and events in one country can impact others. For example, the war in Ukraine is having a significant impact on the global economy. It has disrupted supply chains and led to higher energy prices. This is affecting countries around the world. The BOJ is also monitoring the economies of other major countries, such as China and those in Europe. They are looking for signs of strength or weakness that could affect Japan. In today's interconnected world, central banks like the BOJ must take a global perspective. They cannot make decisions in isolation. They need to understand how their actions might affect the global economy. Section 7. Keeping an eye on the exchange rate. The exchange rate is the value of one currency compared to another. For example, how many US dollars can be exchanged for one Japanese yen? Exchange rates constantly fluctuate. The BOJ is keeping a close eye on the exchange rate between the yen and other currencies. This is because fluctuations in the exchange rate can have a significant impact on the economy. As mentioned earlier, a weaker yen can make Japanese exports more competitive. However, it can also lead to higher prices for imported goods. This can contribute to inflation. The BOJ must strike a delicate balance. They want to support the economy, but they also need to keep inflation under control. The exchange rate is a key factor in this balancing act. Section 8. The future of interest rates. So, what does the BOJ's decision mean for the future of interest rates in Japan? It is difficult to say for certain. The BOJ has signaled that a rate hike is not imminent. However, they have also made it clear that they are prepared to act if necessary. If inflation starts to rise more quickly than expected, or if the yen weakens significantly, the BOJ may reconsider its stance. For now, the BOJ seems content to wait and see how the situation develops. They are carefully monitoring economic data and global events they will adjust their policy accordingly. The BOJ's decision highlights the complex challenges facing central banks around the world. They must weigh a variety of factors, often conflicting in order to make the best decisions for their economies. Section 9. The BOJ's Balancing Act. The BOJ, like all central banks, faces a difficult balancing act. They have to weigh multiple factors when making decisions about interest rates. There is no easy answer. It's... On the one hand, they want to keep interest rates low to support economic growth. Low rates encourage borrowing and spending, which can boost the economy. On the other hand, they also need to be mindful of inflation. If inflation gets too high, it can erode the purchasing power of consumers and businesses. This can lead to economic instability. The BOJ must carefully weigh the risks and benefits of each option. Their recent decision suggests that they believe the risks of raising rates too soon outweigh the benefits. Section 10. A waiting game. For now, the BOJ's decision means that Japan is in a waiting game. The central bank will continue to monitor the economy and global events closely they will be looking for signs that it is time to adjust their policy. Interest rates are a powerful tool, but they are not a quick fix. It takes time for changes in interest rates to work their way through the economy. The BOJ understands this. They are taking a patient and measured approach. They are willing to wait and see how the situation develops before making any major changes. This cautious approach reflects the uncertainties facing the global economy. Until there is more clarity about the path of inflation, exchange rates and global growth, central banks like the BOJ are likely to proceed with caution.